Now in normal cameras, for example, what it adjusts depends on the priority mode of the camera that it's set for. For example, if we're on a mirrorless camera and we set in aperture priority mode, that means it will adjust the shutter, for example, to make the image brighter or darker. On the pocket, the aperture is fixed currently at f1.8, so we can't adjust that. And we've also just told the pocket that we want max ISO of 100 and don't change it from there. So the only thing we can move is the shutter. So if we point the camera towards something bright, we can see the shutter value speeds up to try to decrease the light from entering the sensor. The opposite is true if we're looking at a very dark image. The shutter will slow down to try to increase the light it sees. Note, however, that we, the shutter itself can't go any less than the frame rate that we chose. So for example, if you chose in 4K at 24 frames per second, the shutter can't go less than 1 over 24, as this would mean the shutter would be open all of the time. In this case, the EV would try to adjust the ISO value. So we'd have to increase the max ISO range to allow the EV to control the ISO. Because the shutter can't go any lower, it has to do something to increase the light, so we'll try to adjust the ISO. Remember, however, though, that the higher the ISO goes, the more noise and grain you'll see in the video, especially in dark, shadowy areas. In this shot, we're indoors in low light. In Pro Mode, click on Exposure. Here we see that the shutter is 1 over 25, and that our max ISO is fixed at 100. If we try to increase the brightness of the shot by using the EV value, we see that nothing happens, because the shutter is at its lowest value that we can set it for in 24 frames per second, and the ISO is maxed at 100. So because the shutter is as low as it can go, the only thing we can do to brighten this is to adjust our ISO level. So what we need to do is allow EV to be able to adjust the ISO by increasing our max ISO value. Here we see that if we set our auto max ISO to 6400, the camera wants to set the ISO to 3200 for this dark shot. So let's drop the max ISO to 3200. The shot looks a little bright, so we can use the EV now to darken the image by dropping the ISO level. You can see now that if we drop the EV to minus 2.0, the camera says it only needs an ISO of 800. Let's set the EV value back to zero. We see that the camera now wants a value of 3200, which is quite high, and I know this will create a grainy video image. So if possible, the best thing to do indoors is to introduce more light to the scene by turning a lamp on, for example. By turning on the lamp, we immediately see that the camera now wants an ISO of 800, which is much better. We could even drop the brightness a little bit just by slightly changing the EV value to minus one. And this would take our ISO down to 400, which is fine. So as we said, in low light, the shutter will try to stay in a very slow state, which means it gets as much light in as possible. And in this scenario, the EV controls the ISO level. You can see here that if we move the EV value, the ISO level adjusts in a dark environment, but in a bright environment, the shutter will be adjusted. So what can we do to get a better image when shooting in high contrast scenes? And remember, we don't have any ND filters with us. I'm in full auto, you can see what we're talking about here, the sky is blown out. Um, the tree looks fine. If I go into auto, I can set, in auto I have a chance of setting our max ISO. So I can change this to whatever we want. I'm going to keep this down really low. ISO is set to 100 because it's in auto. Our shutter is 1 over 320. But the sky is blown out, so if I change my EV 
just like so, maybe too. Sort of minus 1.7. You can see the tree is quite blown out. The histogram shows that because it's way over to the left. So let's change that again. Let's go a little bit brighter. But the sky still looks okay. It's a little bit blown out still there. So let's go back and just make that a bit darker. Maybe one. And that might be a nice compromise there where we can record everything now with this, that setting. So the sky doesn't look totally washed out and we still have some uh, images of the tree and it's not too dark and we can probably bring that up a little bit in post-production but as you see if we do this here and we adjust this based on the histogram and that's in the center that means that the tree itself is good but the sky is still blowing out. So you gotta pick one or the other. So again, we would go back and change this to something like minus 1.3. And that would give us uh, an image that we could work with. Pocket has quite a small camera sensor that doesn't have a great. Set again. The camera's sensor. Your camera will decide on what shutter speed and ISO. Thank.